Hello everybody, welcome to Cheap Phone Reviews. Today we'll have a look at the track phone, LG 442BG. This phone is a flip phone with USB Type-C, volume control, a front-facing camera, a front screen, inside screen, ABC, you got the numpad with the text, you got pad right here, you got a text button, text speech button, clear button, a picture button, these two buttons right here. I'm going to open it up and show you the battery. Okay, sadly I can't get the back off. Either way, let's boot it up and show you a round. Okay, here, the LG logo, here we get you a nice, get a better quality image, I like that startup tone, I know, I know, activation required, sadly this is going to be a limited look at the phone, So, so, let's go to the menu. Okay, that is loud. You got the prepaid plan, contacts, messages, recent calls, games and apps, email, my folder, tools, browser, music, camera, settings. Now you can only ac access my folder, tools, music, camera, and settings. First up, let's check out the camera. Okay, so this is the camera. To take pictures, all you need, need to do is Press the button, press the OK button, and it'll take a picture. And take a new one. Let's check out the video quality. Hello, welcome to Cheap Phone Reviews. Today we will show you a video like this. Okay, now that we're done recording. You can save that. Sorry about my dogs. They're a little. Here's a photo I took. Here's another photo, and here's the final photo. Does look a little better than, oh, yeah, looks like that except without some of the lines you're seeing. And, now let's go back. Okay, so I, and here's the f file, ooh, hopefully I don't get copyright claimed, let's 
see here. That was loud. You can sort of tell how good it is by that. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. If I didn't have to activate it, I'd I would definitely sh show the the web browser. Here's some of the tools you can get: voice commands, alarm clocks, calendar, notepad. See how thing this thing types. Okay. New note SBR. Ooh. New note SBR. New note. As you can see, that's a text speech function. This is horrid. Uh. There. I don't feel like spelling out the rest of it. Is the pad feels nice though. And if you turn the lights off real quick. See the nice bunch of little my um, uh, see the fingerprints. You can see the screen which shows Uh, if, if music is being played, the battery, and the connection. But yeah, as you can see, as you can see the, it's light, it's lit up. It's pretty nice. That's the music player. Okay. So now I've got now that I'm through with the the initial review. Things on there tight. I'm through their initial review. I must say it, it is a really nice flip phone. Great first flow phone. And if you're running, that's not the time. I just don't have the. I don't have the patience to set it. Still on there. <laughs> Okay, flip, it's a pretty nice flip, you can do it with the thumb, sadly I can't test the call quality on this because obviously I don't have it registered, I would show my face but I'm just going to see how comfortable it is having it right next to my ear. It is pretty comfortable. I would suggest this phone if you would like to get a cheap phone if you don't already have one. 
or if you need a first phone. That sums up my review. Now onto the drop portion of the test. Okay, this is outside. Let me just readjust the camera. Get it. Let's get it in focus. Okay. So now that I have the flip phone, you want to do a drop test from a height of a pocket. Okay, let's see. See if the screen is cracked at all. Seems to be very little visible damage. It is a little bit rough now. But it should be good. Okay. Let's drop it again. This time I'm going from a height of holding it. Here. Here's the phone. Okay, a little da damage to the, to the actual phone itself. Seems to be still good. Okay, now on to the open face test. First up, from using like this. Hey, now would be a great great time to show you guys the battery. Either way, so far no no cracking of the screen that I can see. Still no. Still no. Still not too big a of any scuffs and buffs. Okay, so here, here's the battery. It is a 9 950 milliamp hour 3.6 WH nearby LG for the next test I'm going to turn the phone off because I don't want the battery fly because I don't want I'm going to remove that because I don't want it, want it to explode that would be very bad okay next Next test is going to be from calling height. So I'm going to have the phone right up next to my ear. Don't try this unless you accidentally do this. Okay, let's see. See how it held up. And it looks good. Does it still work? The battery compartment is now easy to. Okay, it's now easy to get off. This is how you install the battery. Okay, let's turn it on. And 
one seems to be working. And no visible damage to the screen. Uh, barely any scuffs and buffs. Actually smooth the, I think it actually smoothed some of the scuffs and buffs over there. Definitely get this phone if you want a durable flip phone. I find it extremely, these things extremely, extremely durable. So this concludes the drop test portion of this review. Okay, so my final opinion of the flip phone, the, the LG 442BG. I'm reading this on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. Nah. Now it looks is a 10, it's a flip phone, it's the classic design. Camera positioning could be a little bit better with it right here, but it's a $20 phone. So what could you ask? Uh, the, the battery is 950 million milliamp hours, so I'd have to call that pretty good. I'm not sure. While I'm doing that search, I'm going to say that I was wrong. This is not USB Type C; it is USB Type B. Also, the volume rocker. A little bit squishy. Okay. Back to the video. I just now did a search and it proved nothing. So, back on to the, the score. The camera gets a. Well, I have nothing to compare it to. So it gets a 5 out of 10 since it's. Most mediocre and best thing I've seen. Fact of a camera, that's a positive. The little thing right there, that's a huge positive. And then also, it having dedicated buttons for pictures. I'm a text messages and text speech so far I would rate, rate the flip of this phone a 9 out of 10 well 5 out of 5 because well, 5 out of 10, because I can't really uh, compare it to any other flip phone. So yeah, I definitely suggest this. If you're getting a new phone, or if you, if you want to downgrade to a flip phone, if you're getting a new, if you're getting your first phone, if you're getting your kid a first phone, so definitely a great first phone. And for only $20 at Dollar General, or at least where I am at, it's a great steal. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good one. This is a quick, quick thing for my future self. If you're watching this video, or if your channel blows up, future self, this video is what what started it. Mm. This video is probably going to be super cringy, super everything, and that's going to probably make me cringe in the future as well.
if you don't get successful, remember to keep this video still up. So yeah, like if you enjoyed, dislike if you didn't.